Hi everyone, it's Microwave Sam. In this video, I'll show you how to restore your boot loader, your grub loader, that allows you to switch between Windows and Ubuntu. Now, the boot loader or the grub loader can disappear for a number of reasons, but the reason for me is that let's say you have Ubuntu already running on your computer, you've been using it, but you decide to get Windows after you installed Ubuntu. Now, if you install Windows after Ubuntu, it's going to erase the boot loader and basically you're going to turn off your computer and when you turn it back on you're going to just go to straight to windows now that's a problem because we want to be able to switch between ubuntu and windows now to fix this issue we want to get the ubuntu iso file and create a bootable usb flash drive or hard drive of ubuntu now if you go to ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop the first step is to download your flavor type and it gives you a recommended flavor type so you just download that and then you can scroll down to not now take me to download afterwards it's gonna give you the download and it's gonna start it's nearly a gig file so it's gonna take a while to download but in the meanwhile we're gonna get the program called universal USB installer I've used this countless times to create a bootable flash drive of Ubuntu so if you go to this link I'll leave it in the description scroll all the way down and hit the blue button to download UUI so this file is just one megabyte then you can start the executable immediately press yes on any prompts then do I agree and you just have to wait until the Ubuntu file finishes downloading. So we're going to wait until it finishes the downloading. We're going to proceed with the next steps. Once the download finishes, you can select the Linux distribution from the drop down. Let's find it. Okay, well, it's Ubuntu. And now we can grab our USB. So I'm going to grab my USB, but in the meanwhile, you, you can browse. Um, let's see, we found it right over here Ubuntu 14.04 open it up select my USB flash drive so I'm gonna put a USB flash drive in first and now it's at E right so I did check showing all drives and I know that the 14 gig flash drive is mine so of course I'm not gonna use my C drive I'm gonna use my E drive Format my E drive. Everything will be erased on that drive. So make sure you back any important files and you can create. Press yes. And you'll start creating the USB. Now we're we're creating the Ubuntu USB because we want to basically uh, use the live trial, the try USB button. And then get into Ubuntu and then fix that bootloader, the grub loader, so that we get a boot menu to switch between Windows and Ubuntu. So this will take maybe 15 minutes or so, so I'm going to stop the video and speed it up and just finish up the video. Okay, good news, it's done. So now after 15 minutes it completed and we can close this and now we can restart our computer. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you restart your computer make sure you open that boot menu and boot it into your USB storage device so booting up my computer I press F12 immediately to get into the boot menu so F12 for me gets to the boot options and I can select what device to boot into which is my USB storage device because we just got Ubuntu on that USB storage device now I'll select try Ubuntu without installing. It might look a little bit differently. You might go to a bunch of loading, but basically you want to click on try Ubuntu. So after pressing enter on try Ubuntu, different versions of Ubuntu have different screens. So that screen might look unique to you. So we're gonna wait until Ubuntu loads up. Give it a second, it'll load up. It'll bring you to a trial Ubuntu version where basically it lives on that USB storage device and you can mess around with the Ubuntu operating system. So we're going to give it a second, I'm just going to wait a while till Ubuntu pops up. Okay, it's up and running. So now let's do this. Okay, so I am going to open up a terminal and so a terminal you can open up by going to the top left 
and searching terminal it's going to be a little bit shaky the video because I'm using one hand to type and then you want to type in this command I'll zoom in the video for you but basically this command is using sudo add app repository and this repository contains boot repair and boot repair is this program that we're going to use to repair our grub loader so next step is to sudo apt dash get update and we're going to update our package list because we just added that ppa repository i'll leave these commands in the description and then finally we want to do sudo apt get install boot dash repair and we're installing the boot repair program so boot repair is a simple really easy to use program that allows you to repair your grub loader slash boot menu so after we press y enter it's going to install uh, boot repair it's just going to give it a second to finish downloading so now if we type in boot dash repair it's going to run the program and open it up so it has a little like prompt it says gonna take a few minutes going to take a few seconds and you just have to wait until it loads up but right now it's just scanning the system to see what's on our hard drive and we want to click recommended repair so just click that once and it's going to do its magic so this might take a while it'll only take three minutes maximum and you just have to wait until this loading finishes basically what's doing it says reinstall grub SDA so what it looks for is it's looking for different partitions on the loader right because it's recreating the grub loader and grub loader boot menu it's interchangeable you want to say yes at this part to continue so just click on yes and it'll finish up its work so it's reinstalling that grub SDA loader and fixing it up adding menu entries for what is available what's necessary so we're just gonna wait until this finishes so in the meanwhile I'm not gonna speed up this part because it will only take a minute more and we'll finish up this work so creates boot info summary several minutes and it'll do its work so after this is done our bootloader our grub loader slash boot menu should work we can switch between Ubuntu and Windows so boot successfully repaired so press OK and you can now reboot your computer so that's great news so what we're gonna do top right you can go to shutdown and we're gonna restart our computer so let's restart our computer okay so restarting our computer we see hey we get to the grub loader but what's this there's two Windows 8 menu entries well the reason for that is because I had Windows before so when I had this bootloader running I reinstalled Windows on one of my partitions and right now we're gonna boot into Ubuntu so we're gonna go uh, next step of this tutorial is going to customize the grub loader to add our own menu entries and delete duplicate menu entries so without further ado I'm gonna go into Ubuntu log in and then show you the screen my screen on Ubuntu so I'm gonna skip ahead and log into Ubuntu like I said this part of the tutorial is focusing on customizing the blue loader and customizing what entries are on the grub loader so we're gonna open up a terminal so if you have a terminal icon at the left you can click on that uh, but on the top left we can also search for terminal we can click on the icon that pops up now over here we're gonna type in a command called sudo fdisk-l now fdisk-l uh, after typing our sudo password we can see all the partitions on this device so we can see sda1 SDA 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, star designates what uh, partition we're on. So, SDA 2 is our Ubuntu partition at the moment. If you go to the bottom left, you can see the gigabyte volume. So, I have this gigabyte volume, another partition, a volume device, uh, and it has all my Windows contents. I can tell because it has folders, familiar folders like program files. So, I can tell that the 760 gig uh, drive is my 
Windows partition, and that's on SDA3 because I can tell by these numbers. 74645 is like 760 gigabytes. So if I change directory cd space slash boot slash grub, then I'll change directory to this folder in boot grub. So in boot grub, I'm going to use sudo gedit space grub.cfg. Now gedit is a text editor, much like Notepad, but it's on Ubuntu. So if we do sudo space gedit space grub.cfg, we'll open the CFG file. Now we're going to find a Windows menu entry. And here is basically what grub.cfg is. It's the grub loader. It's all your entries on that grub loader in a bunch of different settings. Now, if we do control find for Windows, instead of scrolling down, we'll find the Windows menu entry. So here, I have two Windows menu entries because prior to this video, I had Windows working with Ubuntu, but then I reinstalled Windows afterwards, so create a second entry. Now I can see that it added a second entry, it's on SDA3, so I can delete the first one, which says SDA2. So deleting that will delete that menu entry, but also, you know, if you want to customize it, you can delete any extra menu entries that you don't really use. Now, I know that I never really used a memory test for Ubuntu, and I don't, don't think I'll need to use a menu uh, entry, this menu entry in particular, so might as well delete it because I'm not going to use one of these, so I'm going to delete the initial one, memory test. And this is all, it comes with customizing your grub loader, what you need, what you don't need. So I'm going to delete, delete that. Then I'm going to control S to save my changes. Press X out of that notepad editor called gedit. And that's basically it. You can exit your terminal and you can exit the program. So shut down your computer and restart it. Now when you restart your computer, uh, you're going to see that the menu entry will pop up, the bootloader slash boot menu. And you can see the duplicate is erased. Now, also, an extra memory test is erased too because I deleted that to just show you some of the customization. You can delete any men menu entry you want to. And you, now we can boot into Windows 8. It's going to load up. So there is the loading screen for Windows 8. So that's how you customize your bootloader, grub loader, whatever you might call it, your boot menu. And that's how you restore it after installing Windows over Ubuntu. So if this helped you, thanks for watching. I like to help everyone, so please rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later.